Everybody, happy Friday! God dang, am I glad I got out at a better time today than yesterday. Thank you for joining me this Friday evening. Um, how are you doing? How, how what the, what, what's the haps? Um, this is, this is not Earthbound. Surprisingly. This is the website for a game I was, um, requested to play for the stream called Undertale. Just, just the demo, the real thing. The full shebang is not out yet. Um, but I wanted you all to see, to see this weird thing that happens when I mouse over the Windows and Mac icons, respectively. This little flower thing making faces at me. That's it, that's the whole website. Okay. So I've downloaded this game. I have it sitting right here. It has an instruction booklet, which I am not going to read. Instructions are for nerds. Uh, so hang on, let me. Last time it started, it started doing words at me like really fast, and I couldn't. I wasn't. See, stop! Slow down! Good lord! Long ago, two races ruled over Earth: humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. Oh no, as it always does. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. Who's really the monster here? They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. So Mori, how did you come across this game and why do you think we should play it? Many years later... You're welcome to be as vague about it as, as you wish. Ah, yes! Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Obviously, we're going to climb the mountain. We're gonna climb the shit out of that mountain. Is that us? Somebody say something! What is that? Some stuff? Oh, wait. No, I, I thought I knew, but I don't- I actually- I don't exactly know what happened there. Did we trip and fall? Did we just fall down into a- to a, like a- A chasm in like the freaking ground? Excellent. Good job. Good job, us. Way to go, protagonist. What a champ. Okay. Far did we fall? Ah! Actually, hang on. I have to scoot this over so I can actually see the chat. Press Z, or maybe that says two. I can't really tell. To enter. Oh wait, press Z or enter, or two or enter. I'm not really sure. We'll find out. I'll press Z and see. The art's pretty cool. Okay. I tried the demo myself, it feels very earthboundish. I saw it mentioned people on Twitter and I'm gr Yeah! Jesus Christ! It scared me. Colorful, adorable, strange sense of humor, interesting combat, good music. Earthbound, a bit of Mega Tin, and some Toho! Well shit, man! That's right, you did say that it has Toho combat, so I am I am ready for some bullet hell. Okay. Empty. <laughs> when HP equals zero, you lose. Okay. I think I follow. Name the fallen human! Name the fallen human! It's up to you, hive mind. You must! Gravity. Lucifer. Winston, Winston Jr. <laughs> Big Ned. <laughs> Nerd. What? It won't let me! You're terrible! 
Why won't you let me write nerd? Big Ned. <laughs> you get six letters full now, I I figured that out, but now I might just want to call them dead. Rhombus. Um. Circle, circle must be Oval's dad's name. That'd be weird. Watch your head, Ned. I'm gonna go with Ned. Big Ned! Fate has decreed that Ned is the fallen human. My my attempts at insult have resulted in, in the solution. Oh Ned! Ned Ned intensifies. <laughs> Is that us? Oh. Hi. Wake up. Wake up. We're like Brock. <laughs> At least we landed on some flowers. Okay. The name falls towards us. Indeed it did. Oh! I can walk here! So it's one of those kind of games, eh? This looks like a boundary, but it's not a boundary at all! This thing! It's a flower! Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hi, Flowey! Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Golly, I you're probably right. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Well, shucks, Flowey, will you teach me? I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Did you just rip out my heart? Oh! See that heart? That is your soul! The very culmination of your being! Your soul's all tough and weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of love! What's love stand for? Why, love, of course! I was hoping that. I was gonna make a joke about it being, it being standing for love instead of level, but no, this is actually what it means. Thank you. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Ah! Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets! That doesn't seem very hygienic. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! Arr! You idiot! Whoa! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! Nah! No thank you. No thanks. I'll pass.
That flower, that was the most hardcore flower I've, I've witnessed in, in at least a handful of months. What a creep in torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Is this ghost, I mean goat mom? Hi, goat mom. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. She's got its belly and talking different colors! She knows what's up. I pass through this place every every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Well, here I am. You were the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Thanks, Goat Mom. This way. Yo, that was jacked up. That jacked me up. I'll never trust flowers again so long as I live. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Goodbye, hardcore flower. Goat Mom just wrecked that flower. Ned squinting directly at the camera, more like. I want to climb this. I want to climb these. Uh, this ivy. Yeah, the music's nice. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. I don't want to live here! Ah! I never agreed to this. This is actually the office. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Let me know if the music's too loud or whatever. I, uh, I don't have any... Oh no, there's puzzles! The ruins are full of puzzles! Ancient fusions between diversions and do and oh I thought it said, I thought it said doohickeys. I'm actually a little disappointed it doesn't see it doesn't say doohickeys and instead says door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. <laughs> diversions and doohickeys. I'm gonna put that. It's like a, it's like the a weird off like you know spin off of um, gadgets and gizmos, gizmos and gadgets. It's diversions and doohickeys. Diversions and doohickeys. That flower though, that was what made me think I should share this. You 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 are you 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 know us well. I'M HERE FOR THIS! Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. No! God, Goat Mom, you're so nice! It's, it, I almost don't want to be like rebellious and angry that I'm stuck down here. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the, the middle road. The middle road, eh? I guess the middle road would be this one that wasn't walked. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. SWITCHES AND DOORS! Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. I'm pressing Enter to read signs! You're not the boss of me! Stay on the path. I'm getting some re crazy, like, witch's house vibes from that. You feel me? Like that part down the hallway when it tells you not to keep going and if you make any sort of, like, if you stop or if you, you know, move to the side or whatever, you die! You just get wrecked. I wonder which switch I should flip. Gosh, I wonder. Please press this switch. Can I trust you? I want to trust you, Ghost Mom. Ghost Mom. Goat Mom. You might be a ghost, I don't know.
Apparently in that bit in the witch's house, if you don't actually read the note that says walk straight ahead, you don't have to walk straight ahead. Interesting. So why is so a ghostly goat? Why why is it set up like this? Like No no no! You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. I do what I want! It cannot be tamed! Please press this switch too, Toriel. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let's move in the next to the next room. She's so nice! I don't trust anyone nice anymore. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. What is that thing over there? Looks like a... Dummy. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a FIGHT! She is a- she is definitely going to make us live down here and not return- like, there was not- There was not even any sort of- any sort of option. Like, she was immediately like, come on, I'll introduce you to your new life. There is no getting out of here. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. What? Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. <laughs> <laughs> Practice talking to the dummy. Really? You thought it was sword practice, but it was actually public speaking practice! Conversational skills practice. I love you, goat mom. You encountered the dummy. No, which one of these? A cotton heart and a blah blah blah. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Aw, oh, that's nice. Dummy stands around absent mindedly. You talk to the dummy! It doesn't seem much of a conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Now I wanna know what happens if you hit fight. I wanna see I wanna I wanna disappoint Goat Mom. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. This game is so positive. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. She's so cute. Like, she keeps looking back at us. She tells you you need to talk it out. <laughs> wow! Frog, it attacks you! I want. Uh, let's let's compliment the frog. The froggit. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. I love her, her the scowl, and then her eyes narrow. She's like freaking watching you. I'm watching you, froggit. Got my eye on you. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint.
This is a puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh! She's care He's holding our hand! Ghost- Goat- Goat Mom! I'm so used to things being ghosts in this room that- Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Oh my god! Goat Mom! It's passing the room- You're right, it is! You're not the boss of me. Go, go, mom. Go, mom, to lead mom con 2015. Does mom con have a bitter rivalry with that con? No way. They got it. They gotta be. They gotta be pals. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Are you gonna try and kill me? Passive aggressive battles over who's the better parent. The guest speaker at MomCon is a goat. The guest speaker at Tagon is a disconnected rotary phone. Please don't turn into some sort of terrible monster. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Oh god, that's so difficult! Oh, her little distressed face. Oh no, this is so tense. <laughs> Bake sales. Oh god, I give up! I can't do it! No, I'm just kidding. This game is definitely... charming. So it's in the, uh, it's... in the, uh, Steam, uh, greenlit whatever, green light whatever thing now, right? This room goes forever. Oh, well, don't you think you've been at MomCon too long? Exactly. That is exactly what he calls about. You're a hard worker, just like your mother. Row. Oh! Why does she look distressed? Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. Oh my god! Goat mom, you're so cute! Oh. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Oh my god! I will fund this game just to see more goat mom being incredibly... Incredibly, like, overprotective. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Yeah! If you have a need for anything- How do we get reception in here? We're like underground. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, alright. She told us to stay here. How do I even use items? Oh. Hmm. 
Ned, level or love one. Love one. I'm gonna call it love and continue otherwise stated. Weapon stick armor bandage guild zero. Only one person loves us. Cell. So, say hello about yourself. Call her mom. <laughs> Call her just to say hello. We'll get to this one. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> we will call, pick all of them. We are going to call her and do all of the options. I want to know about Ned. Maybe he asks about himself. Maybe he doesn't know. And this is Toriel. Hmm? Oh, She's blushing! Her little spurs are right. Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. You're so cute! How old are we? Old enough to flirt. Oh, it disappears. I wonder if it will let. If, I wonder if she's gonna refer to herself as mom now. Like I wonder if we've changed. We 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 tripped a flag. Apparently the full version has dating sim elements. What? I don't want to date you. You're my mom. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Oh, about yourself as in Toriel. Okay. Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Flirt with a dummy. Make an honest dummy of the dummy. Are links on? Good question. I don't think so. Let me turn them on. It should be now. Ring! Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Look at the features for this game. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. That's adorable! That is the cutest save text I've seen. All right, description. No, God, I freaking ruined everything. Anyway, I am, I am freaking all about dating sim elements. This game just keeps getting better. Go north here because I forgot to go north here. I can't read this. It won't let me look at it. Tell me what it says. You can date a skeleton. Go north here. 
Sounds familiar. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Suspicious. Deeply suspicious of this candy. So is there something about dogs in the thing? I want... Become friends with all the bosses. At least five dogs. You can date a skeleton. <gasps> My goodness! Hmm, now there are six dogs? Maybe you won't want to date the skeleton. Do we take a piece of candy? We're taking a piece of candy. Monster candy? Oh boy! He has 10 HP. It has a distinct non licorice flavor. I thought I found a seventh dog, but it was actually just the third dog. If you play this game, can you have the dogs for me? I'm not good at it. Amazing. I like how we don't know what the flavor is. It's just not licorice. Whatever the flavor is. You took more candy. How disgusting! It said only take one! You, you, you monster! You take another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth! This is so funny! You took too much, too fast! The candy spills onto the floor. Now no one gets any candy! Look at what you've done! Look at what you've done, Ned! Wimsom approached meekly! Hey there! He looks distressed. We'll console it. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away! You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. I almost want to save here to see- I wonder if there's repercussions from, from taking candy. I wonder- I wonder if Ma- if Goat Mom gets- gets upset with us. This looks safe. This does not look like it's going to crack and I'm going to fall through it at all. Oh no! Wouldn't you know it? I fell right through. A frog had hopped close. I'll threaten it this time. Shiver, shiver. Ah! Life is difficult for this enemy. Hop, hop. What? I don't understand this battle system, it's so strange. You can spare it if you pick mercy, or you can murder it. But it won't run away, huh? I like how there's an option to flee rather than spare. You earned zero XP and two gold. Oh, okay. How did we get- But I didn't fight it! Okay.
so I... Should we try to fight? I, I, I want to know what happens if we try to fight it! Yeah, I want to see the dialogue and stuff, but I don't want to disappoint Goat Mom! Any more than we're already disappointing her by eating all this candy and leaving the room. She'll never know. What a wi- What? Froggy doesn't seem to know why it's here. None of us know why we're here. Croak, croak. Froggy is trying to run away. Oh no! You won! You earned 3 XP and 2 gold! I feel like even more of a monster now than when I ate all that candy. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Is this mittens? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Do we prefer cinnamon or butterscotch or bescotch? What does Big Ned prefer? Cinnamon! Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Ring. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found out it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being p patient, by the way. I hope she calls me again in a few, another few steps. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Is that so? This full game so bad. It didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. This is. Out of for a second, okay? I've been lied to so many times. This battle system is so strange. I'm gonna marry this frog. Buy the frog and flowers. Please don't step on the leaves. Oops. No, I didn't want to fight it! Miss Meow. That's unusual. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength! Only kidding. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. The battlefield?
It actually looks like it has like a small like another creature living under the frog. Or like maybe the like like, like a like it's covered like a weird bobblehead frog blanket that's hiding a little creature underneath. Crap, which way? How far did it go down? Not there. We did not kill the frog. Mold small blocks the way. Oh no, I didn't mean to fight it. Burble burb. Mole small burbles quietly. Imitate. You lie immobile with mobile small. You feel like you understood the words a little better. Slime sounds. Mode small awaits pensively. <laughs> it's an angry bun cake. Stereotypically, curvaceously attractive. Oh, stereotypical. Curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Oh, this game. What a charmer. You will your hips. Mole small wills back. What a meaningful conversation. Squorch. I want to step on this pile here, why? Didn't you read a sign downstairs? Well, I- I did, but... How is this sta- how is this stain- well, I guess the same way the floor is staying. Oops. A pair of frogs hop towards you! Double froggets. You ate the monster candy. You recovered ten HP. Why are you? Why? God, calm down. Calm down, Mori. Calm down, Genie, calm down. I'm not good at talking. Spare the frog. I'm gonna make a joke here, but I can't. I'm not, uh. Spare the frog. Spoil the child. I mean, uh, yeah, mm. if you want frustrating, try negotiating with demons in the Megaton series. Yeah, no kidding. Spoil the tadpole. There we go.
I tried to steal it in mercy, and it refuses to- it refuses to accept my mercy! His jump was so tiny that time, it took me off guard. Sorry, I'll leave this fight soon. I'm just I'm just digging around now. <laughs> the heart just walks away! Bye! Oh crap, I forgot I need to go up again. Neither frog will be spared. They won't let me leave! I'm sorry, you forced my hand. Meow. Why won't these let me spirit? I'm trying to save their lives and they won't. It's like they just want to die. Sorry, I'm probably taking way longer than this game actually requires to do. Alright, three out of four rocks. Maybe I can compliment them and leave. It seems reluctant to fight you. Oh, good. Okay. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? You little shit. It's the wrong direction. Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, think I got it.
Do you think mushroom cubes? Yeah, kinda. I trust you. Maybe I should push that other one just in case. You tripped into a line of molt smalls! A whole line of them. Rock to be seen and not heard. Sexy wiggle, sexy wiggle. The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. I freaking love lime gelatin. Is that cheese? Is that some cheese? Looks like there's a hole right there. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ghost? Is there just a ghost lying in the pile of leaves? Am I gone yet? This oh, they're not even snoring. This ghost keeps saying Z, 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 Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Nah. Here comes Nap Stab Look. Its eyes wiggle. I like this music. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny! Why does it look like you're dropping tear bullets at me? Napsap look Napstab look is wishing they weren't here. You gave Napsap look a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> really really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Next book looks a little bit better. Mm. 
Maps to work. Maps to work? Is that how you? You told Maps to book a little joke! <laughs> I'm gonna be friend to this ghost! Cheering seems to have improved Naps book's mood again. Naps book wants to show you something. Is it your stabs? Let me try. <gasps> Whoa! I call it Dapper Blook! Do you like it? I love it! Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Goodbye, Napster Look! It just cried magic bullet tears into the form of a hat. Incredible. Did you miss it? Spider bakes it down and to the right! Come eat food made by spiders! For spiders! Of spiders! We befriended a cute swing music ghost. I hope to become a cute swing music ghost when I die. All proceeds go to real spiders. <laughs> Sounds like a night fell ever. The 7G in the web? Yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh! Thank you! <laughs> what is going on? I don't have enough money to leave 18G, but at least I got a donut. Spider donut. Donuts are fried goods, not baked. I think I wasn't wrong. Let me push the button! Spider donut heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Spider? Spider cider! Spider cider, spider cider, spider cider, spider cider. Spider cider. Blah, blah. Wait, how much money? Is it a frog? What are you doing out there in the overworld? You want to say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? I wonder how long she'll let me... Is spider cider made from fermented arachnids? I would imagine so because the sign did say it was made it was for spiders by spiders from spiders. We have 16 we we have almost enough money to afford whatever's at the other side of the big sale. We're going to go we're going to get it. Rip it. Rip it. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. The monster does not want to fight you. Please, use some mercy, human. Rivet. <laughs> Maybe that was referring to its town of origin. It has <laughs> spiders, Ohio. Ah, yes, spiders. Looks, looks drew near. Hello. Don't pick on him. Family name? Eyewalker. Luke's, Luke's Eyewalker. You! This game! 
Please don't pick on me. Luke's is staring right through you. <laughs> ah. Finally, someone gets it. Oh wait, maybe there's a little there's a little hand hanging down. I always kept thinking of it as like a face. Like a or like something hiding underneath the frog, but maybe it's little dangling arms. Are those bubbles or water do eye beams? It's both. There is just one switch. Which is the switch? There's the switch! Vegetoid came out of the earth! EAT! Plants can't talk, dummy. <laughs> Fidgetoid cackled softly. Serving size one monster, not monitored, not monitored by the USDA. Flowey begs to differ. <laughs> Flowey is not of this earth. Not of this earth any longer. That flower is pushing daisies. Whoa! They are onions. There was onions and corn. <laughs> you tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. So does that mean if I weaken it, I can eat it? That's metal. Sophie, come on. Do you need to go potty? I have to eat it before it eats us. Farm locally, very local. This toy seems kind of bruised. Now we're gonna eat it. Your love increased! I'm glad that it actually is love and not just that wasn't just flowery talking shit. It's a switch! Press it! No! The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a change in perspective. Go in the middle of bottom hole. Okay. <gasps> Buddy! I fell in a hole. Oh, I can't get up. They talk in all lowercase, like the, uh... 
like the dust in uh in uh Sandman. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly. Can't they? Oh well. Alright, you said bottom left. What is that? What is that in that room there? I'm gonna check it out. You found a faded ribbon. Can we date the ghost? I hope we can. Big Migosp crawled up close. Oh no, I didn't mean to fight it! I'm sorry! In unison now! Whoa! It started to smell like a roach motel. Gross. I don't care! Rude! Don't take his hat, date him and let him give you his hat. Date him and let him make you a hat of your own so that you can be matching. Migos refuses to give up. Okay. No way. I mean, he 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 showed us he showed us his magic. He showed us his magic. I mean, he showed us how to make his hat. But it's by laughing at it. You know, we, we told him jokes and stuff and made him feel better, and then he, he he made the hat. So obviously we can he can do it on his own accord. I'm gonna scope that room up there. Wow! It actually looks kind of like a like a weird. It makes me think of like a the turnips in a. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. It's like a, like a, it actually looks like some sort of, uh, skull. Ah! What? Oh, goodness! Come on! Does Sophie count as one of the dogs? I don't know, but we can count that. That is our first dog. We found it. Fresh morning taste. Sophie is done great. Vegetoy is here for your health. Nah. Well, let me spare it. Still wants to fight. I was hoping I could maybe talk it down. Well, that was all very worthwhile. I'm glad I did that. Locally grown in your own body. Oh, by the way, I haven't, I haven't asked, uh, welcome, 
Welcome, Carrier Slug. He flipped me out because I saw my name there, and I was like, what? Why is there someone else named Carrie in this chat? There's only room for two of us. But then it, I saw the rest of it, and then it was okay. I was gonna have to, like, duel you. It's not an exit, it's a market change in perspective. Thanks for stopping by. No, that is quite, that's quite alright. Always glad to. It does look kind of like Mike. You rude! Wait, what did it say? I didn't get to see what it said. I'm gonna press all these switches. We're gonna have dire consequences. What weird looking switches. But anyway, by what should I refer to you, dear carrier slug? It's not an exit, it's just a change in perspective. So it is! Wow! No, this is far out. If you can read this, press the blue switch. A terror of lots of time to pick on you! A teeny slug on a mission. Oh, looks, my bad. Welcome back. Okay, Sophie, Sophie, goodness gracious. Sitting up on the chair, like almost climbing on the laptop. Get out of here! This isn't your stream to run. My stream. Take your dog. Tugboats kill everyone. Don't point that at me. Point what at you? Stuff stolen candy in the face. Insult Toriel. <laughs> Smells like eye drops. Yeah, I don't know if I could hurt Goat Mom. Hugging softly. I will softly hug go uh, Goat Mom. Where'd the blue switch go?
so long as there are no clever I can steal knives while doing hugging. Not this time. I press the blue switch! Don't screw with me, game. Oh wait, is it telling me to press the ghost of where the blue switch would be? There should be a switch here. You noticed there was a blue switch behind the pillar! Oh, well! Oh, that's right, because everything shifted. So this one would be hidden, I see. That's pretty clever. Indeed, a change of perspective. Everything just shifted direction, and so this one became hidden. That's pretty clever, game. I like your style. Run from vegetables always. They have a dancing attack! You put the ribbon. Oh, I can apparently equip it in battle too! Neat. I don't want to die. I don't think there's grace points in this game. What is morning taste though? No! I'm beginning to understand why all the Mertzes were buried in the ground. I'm beginning to understand why we- why they were, uh... Why we banished them away. Yeah. If you can read this, press the green switch. What if Ghost Buddy is hiding in one of these freaking- Oh man, am I back at the very beginning now? Diggity dang. Maybe I should go get some more ghost pastry. I mean, some more spider pastries. How far away was that? Have we gone a long ways from that room? I don't know. I don't know, it's just down here. How much money do we have? Oh man, we can afford so many things! A bandage heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times.
Some spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. You gave me a jug? What kind of bake sale is this? Spider cider. Heals 22 HP. Made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Good to know. Spider moonshine. <laughs> Cheers, cannibal spiders. Now we covered my HP entirely. Should go buy another one. I have to call my folks. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Safe point to serve health too. Good to know. Now, if only we could find one in this area. Okay, I have to go. Call my folks for reals. Back in just a few minutes.
Hey everybody. So my mom says hello. And also while I was while I was call on the phone, I tried to navigate back to where we left off. Um, hang on, let me turn off the cat. Bonus points to anyone who can remember what stream I actually originally saved that picture to use for. Um, but anyway, we got into a fight with a Megasp and it, it did its dance attack. I'm sorry you missed it. But now it seems pretty chilled out. So we did a little dance and then everything was alright. Mm -hmm. You did you you miss everyone missed it actually because it happened it happened while I was while I was um off air. Um but hopefully we'll see it again. No. No. Which one of these is where I need to be? I'm sorry, everybody. What a curious path. Only brave people take the middle path. Whoa! Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive. That's just I just drank some spiders, but... But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Is that a knife? You found the toy knife. Yeah, I knew what you meant. I didn't even notice that you that that wasn't what you said. Go mom who's actually nine feet tall. Amazing. Toy knife weapon attack for you made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Anyway, surprises. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want to have a nice I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Your house is very brown, goat mom. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. This is supposed to be like, you said that this demo would last 30 minutes and I've made it last an hour and a half. Incredible. According to the manual, snail pie is her favorite food. Aw, that's cute. 
Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2010X. 2010X. She's a goat, so she probably has no understanding of human foods. This is it. Takes my hand. I love how she, as she's leading us, she does. She looks back at us while she's holding our hand. Her sprite is looking back at us. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Pats on head, ruffles hair. Oh my goodness, go, mom! Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. She runs away. Twenty x teen. Patches. She's getting intense. I wonder if I can catch her in the act. Oh no, she spotted me! Stand perfectly still, or she won't go back to the hunt. Creeps closer. Nothing to see here, cat. I'm certainly not planning to plan to take video of you doing dumb cat things. Don't be ridiculous. Is that it? Did I turn it on? I can't see a damn thing. And I can't lift up the thing to see. Good lord, I can't get back to the chat either. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button! No freaking wonder! Way to go, dummy. No, that's not it. Let's see here. God, there's so many freaking buttons here. Oh, is it not gonna let me? I'm hella disappointed. Wait! Well, that works too, I guess. Okay. That's not what I intended to do. I'm sorry, everybody. I just really wanted to show you my cat. There! I figured it out. Catches! Sophie, it was Patches time and you got off in the way. You had to make it about you. You had to make it about you. I'm sorry everyone, I got totally sidetracked thinking about my animals. We were, we were having a moment with Goat, with goat Mom and I, I got really distracted, I'm sorry. But I know as soon as, soon as I freaking get up, I walk away from you, you're gonna start messing with this thing again. I just know it. I know you. Don't give me that look. Okay. What if this is my entire stream? My entire stream is just my cat with soothing music in the background. That's it. That's all there is. Good night, everybody. Yeah, it's the ball and the donut thing. 
I don't have a frog yet, but I actually do have... You know, it's funny you should... I have to... Now I have to show you. It's funny that you should ask me if I have a frog up here. Because... Whoops. So there's the cat. And here... Is a frog! You see it? Yeah, it's right there. He lives down there. Okay, we're really going back to the game now, I'm sorry. Oh wait, why am I talk typing? You guys can hear me. Weird, it showed correctly on my end. I wonder why it didn't show up for you. Well, you have to take my word for it then. There is a frog- uh, there is a big plastic frog that lives under the table. Right next to the where the cat is sitting right now. I'm- I'm sorry. I'm sorry for- sorry for getting your hopes up and then dashing them like that. I didn't mean to promise you frogs and then, d you know, not deliver. Okay, so let's check out this cute room. It was probably me. I probably did something to jack it up. I-, I who knows. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. You look very yellow in this room. There's a frog that gives live birth instead of laying weird froggy eggs. That's crazy. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kid shoes in a disparity of sizes. <gasps> the music changes when you turn out the light! Did she leave us a slice of pie? You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. This game is so cute. But where did all those children's shoes come from? Probably the same reason that she has all these toys and things prepared. Obviously Goat Mom, obviously Goat Mom is, you know is learn to is you know 
All the children who came here in the past aren't here anymore. Because she ate them! All HP. Butterscotch cinnamon pie, one slice. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Oh, this room is very blue. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. I can't read Goat Mom's diary. Encyclopedia of Subterranean Plants. You open it to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No more commonly as water sausages. Ah yes, the water sausage. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. How scandalous. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> oh my god. Just a regular old bucket. Of snails! I'm gonna sleep on your bed. Definitely bigger than twin size bed. Mom jokes! Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. A mirror! It's you! Interesting. Room under renovations. Guess we could- I guess we should go see what was burning the other day. We, we, we went to sleep, so. Examine the plant again. Oh yeah, the water sausages! Oh! It is a water sausage. Oh, there's a cactus! I missed it. Ah! The cactus. <laughs> Truly the most endary of plants! Truly. Truly. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. This game. This, 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 the smile on my face is so... It kind of hurts. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at her! Look at her sitting by the fire reading! She's got like little reading glasses on! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, Goat Mom! Please read me a story, Goat Mom. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still! <laughs> squints! Angry squints! I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. When can I go home? Oh no, I can't say that after- after- I can't break her heart! Here's- it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks. We retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home. 
which we named home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. This kitchen reminds me, for some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. For some reason! There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Gingerbread monsters! The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Obviously she uses fire magic! The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside! Let's not! I was gonna jokingly suggest putting our hand inside, but then the game actually suggests that, okay. The end of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. I want, I want, you know what I really want? I was thinking about it earlier. Like, whenever we first saw her, when she took her hand and started leading us through. I want, I want Goat Mom to babysit all the elves and forever. <gasps> A little baby chair! Imitated by, intimidated by the size of my burrito. I think you should play upstairs instead. Mm. I'm gonna. I want to draw goat mom, and I want to draw goat mom and Elson's. Okay, so eventually this this is just a demo, so eventually it has to end, so... There must be a way to do so, which would make me think... So, uh, hey, Goat Mom. Goat Mom also says- She does? Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? Actually, yes! It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Actually, yes! Please tell me all about this. I figured we were close. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? No, tell me more about your sna- I want more snail facts! Please, more snail facts, right away. Oops, I already read this one. <laughs> Watch slow motion zoomed in video of snail eating someone- something some time. She told me a fact about the digestive system. Somebody, she has a bunch of facts she just randomly will give you. I love how they, how she's set to have a whole bunch of random facts and given a variety of them. I have to do something. Stay here. Goat mom? Goat mom? Goat mom, are you okay? You wish to return 
to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Go, Mom! Go, Mom! I mean, I feel I I I I anticipated this happening, but what happens if we go back upstairs? Does anything happen? Oh, she looks so sad. Yes, there is more than one ending to the demo you can get. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Okay! Goat Mom says she's only protecting me, so I'm going to go back to my room. So you want to tell me more snail facts now? Oh, come on! Look at her chair. Seems like the right size portorial. It is her chair, so... Okay. But jokes aside, let's go, uh... Has she just been sta- she just been down here all night? I went and took a I just went to bed and she's still standing down here. She hasn't actually destroyed it yet, she's just standing in place where she lived. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. She looks mad. I, 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 I feel upset that I, I have- she's making this face at me. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. No! No, 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 no. No, I am not, no. No is best for you. Oh, sweet Jesus! Okay. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. I refuse! I refuse to fight you! You tried to think of something to say again, but... Come on, Ned! Toria looks through you. Ask her about snails. Really? Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. That's what I was thinking. That this is a very or this this stage feel has a very Toho. I mean, this fight has a very Tohoish music. I mean, the, the sound quality is a bit different because it's not using the same instruments, but just the way it's set up. I try to spare her and she just stares at me. There's like a huge, a huge, you know, blind spot in your attack. This is like Icicle Fall. Kiriko making Toho references here, no one's going to get it. Okay. 
There's a character, the character Cherno has an attack that has a huge blind spot in it. That, like, if you just stand completely still when it's, when it's used, uh, you don't take any damage. Anywho. Well, I say huge, I don't know how big it is. I've been a long time since I, I tried to avoid playing that game, playing, um, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil because it's awful. That is right. Go upstairs. Already, what will it take for you to learn your lesson? I care. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one more time. What happens if she kills me? Portal takes a deep breath. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. I had to see. Whoa! Actually, if you keep talking to her, does it does it eventually work? Maybe if we whittled down her thing and, and thing and tried talking. I can't, I can't kill her, I can't. It's like they're all going around me. It's like she doesn't actually want to hurt me. Her face! Her face turned from looking angry to looking... If she takes damage, her face changes. But anyway, it's like the, the bullets don't want to hit me. It's like she's... It's like she just wants to prove a point. Go, Mom, no! I'm gonna get her down really low and spare her. What do you think of that? Oh, oh. Sophie. At least I'm not imagining that. She was looking straight at us before, right? It's like catching Pokemon only with a goat mom. Go on, you're strong. We can befriend.
Lord! Uh, you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Do not let them take your soul. Asgore's plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Are you crying? Be good, won't you? My child. No! No! We broke her soul. Oh, <laughs> I hope you like your choice. Oh my gosh, look at his face. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot! It pops away whenever I try to get at it. I'll crush you! Don't you call my goat mom! My, my dearly departed goat mom an idiot. I am glad I was right in being suspicious of the daisy, though. Caster... Caster dog extension? Oh wait, no, O-O-G-G. The <laughs> caster dog. I'm like, yes, we found the, another dog. How do I get back? Do I have to? Do I have to just close the game and open it back up? You gotta hard reboot it. It won't let me. The game won't let me close it. Okay. It, I have to, hang on. Hold escape. Ooh. Look at that flower.
Okay, Ned, let's give this another shot. Why am I walking so slow? Game, why are you running so slowly? Do it over again. This time don't screw it up. Cause I'm sad, it's true. Ned remembers what he's done, even if Goat Mom doesn't. Maybe it's because you ate all that candy, you fatty. But no, this game is super charming. I will support the fire out of it. Seriously, what the heck? Go, Mom! I can't handle this. Why are we going so slow? I don't really have much of anything else running. I don't think. Here, I'm going to take a picture of, of, of her face for you. For you, Kelly. Stashed away. No problem. What? This... This is your home now. Um... Would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 32 Uses for Snails. Will you tell me a different snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? That's weird. Okay. I've actually been thinking it the whole time that I had said it. The, the uh, Toriel's outfit um, reminds me of one of the uh, Toho bosses in the very first Toho game, whose name is uh, Sariel, actually.
So what causes them to do that? Their reproductive swip. swip. A swip is a flip and a switch at the same time. Is it because, is it like to, uh, you know, supply and demand? I'm sorry this is going so slow. Oh my god, why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? I was actually kind of hoping, just a little, just a little. Do you know something that I do not? No. That is impossible. That the reason we're the reason the reason we're walking slow is because we've seen it that is exactly why. You're right, it's because we're sad. Oh we got double double dots now. Question marks? We've gone from triple darts to question marks. What are you doing?
Attack or run away. This is for your own good, Goat Mom. We're the mom now. We're gonna talk you down. <laughs> We're wicking her out. What are you proving this way? I love you, Goat Mom! I can be strong. Look at all these attacks I defended. Without having to hurt anybody. Fight me or leave. <laughs> We're being bad at hazardous. Stop it. We befriended a ghost goat, Mom! We can befriend other things, too. Please, goat, Mom. Please stop shooting that macro at me. Stop looking at me that way. Her gaze has softened. Oh, but now it's back to being stern. Go away! I can do this all night, go mom. You gonna keep shooting fireballs at me, or are we gonna we gonna we gonna go eat some pie? Oh, now she's starting to feel bad. I shot fireballs at my own kid. I know you want to go home, but. You thought about telling Toriel that you saw her die. But that's creepy. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. Oh, her sad smile. I know we do not have much, but... Just out of curiosity. We can have a good life here. This is making this is almost making me more sad than than when we actually killed her. Though I have to wonder what happens if if we spare her the first time and then kill her later. I guess we just probably don't unlock this set of dialogue. But I'm so glad that that I'm so happy that that was an option. Anyway, okay. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. Now she's now she's sad. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. 
you would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave this ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh! It was a really long hug. Goodbye, my child. Go, Mom! Go, Mom! That music gives me such a sad feeling. We don't have to leave just yet. Why don't you make us a snail pie? Huh? Go, Mom. Where is she? I'm sorry for doubting tutorial. Oh my god, if she's in our room, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Right, this isn't even a full game! How dare it make me so upset. He probably went to walk around the ruins, buy some spider donuts, think about life. Think about snails. Stop trying, children. Now I just want to see if- I just want to walk through the entire- the entire ruins again and see if we can find her somewhere there. She's gonna die alone and be a bony skeleton. Alright, let's go see what- let's go see what, uh... Jerk ass flower has to say about our pacifism. She should adopt Ghost Friend.
This is a good game. Definitely has an earthbound quality. It's simple and goofy, but then it punches you right in the feels. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. <gasps> oh my god. His face turned into hers. You murdered her. It's all distorted. And then you went back because you regretted it. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you are the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world purely by your own determination? <gasps> That's right. The ability to play God. The ability to save. I thought I was the only one with that power. But... I can't save anymore. Apparently your desires for this world override mine. Well, well. Enjoy that power while you can. I'll be watching. <laughs> Tiny save, hobo and save flower. My goodness. Salt the earth. Oh, my goodness. But now, now I have to know what hap if what happens if anything, if you were to try and go through it and spare it first, but then go back through. But the game will obviously move this, so I have to uninstall it, or else go play it on my Mac. What a game. There we go, guys. That's the Undertale demo. Is there anything you can get if you murder everything? I might also set aside some dollars. Thank you for recommending this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll probably pick back Earthbound up. Wait, pick Earthbound back up. I appreciate Goat Mom a lot.